Did you know that there's a point on Earth so remote that explorers once left a Lenin statue there just because no one else could reach it? Welcome to the Pole of Inaccessibility, the ultimate middle of nowhere. Hi there, welcome back to Open Atlas, where we dive into the most fascinating corners of the world. Today, we're going to be exploring a place that's not just far away, it's farther than far. The Pole of Inaccessibility. But what does that even mean? Where are these elusive points? And why are they so important? Stick around as we uncover the hardest places to reach on Earth, and why they capture the imagination of adventurers, scientists, and storytellers alike. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more explorations into the planet's most intriguing places. Let's start with the basics. A pole of inaccessibility, or PIA, is the spot on land or at sea that is the farthest from any coast, making it the most difficult to reach. These points vary depending on whether you're talking about continents, oceans, or even entire planets. Think of it like this. If the Earth were a dartboard, a pole of inaccessibility would be the hardest bullseye to hit. But here's the twist. It's not always where you think it is. And reaching these places is a lot harder than just drawing a straight line on a map. Let's start with the most famous one, the Continental Pole of Inaccessibility in Asia. Location. This spot is in the desolate wilderness of the Eurasian Steppe, near the Zungarian Basin in northwestern China. It is roughly 2,645 kilometers, or 1,645 miles, from the nearest coastline making it the most landlocked place on Earth. What's there? Not much, honestly. There are no cities, no bustling trade routes, just vast, dry plains and a few scattered nomadic herders. Reaching this point is no easy task, thanks to the harsh weather, lack of infrastructure, and sheer remoteness. Cool fact. Some researchers claim that this spot isn't 100% accurate due to discrepancies in coastline measurements. So, while we know that it's somewhere in this area, the exact location is still up for debate. Next, we have the Antarctic Pole of Inaccessibility, the holy grail of remoteness. Location. This pole lies deep within Antarctica, around 878 kilometers or 546 miles from the South Pole. But here's the kicker. Unlike the South Pole, which has a research station, this spot has almost nothing. What's there? In 1958, a Soviet expedition team reached this pole of inaccessibility, and they left behind something rather unique. A bust of Vladimir Lenin perched atop a small building. Today, the statue still stands, staring out into the endless frozen expanse as a kind of eerie reminder of human ambition. Why is it so hard to reach? Antarctica's extreme cold, high altitude, and shifting ice make it nearly impossible to traverse. Temperatures here regularly plummet below negative 60 degrees Celsius, that's negative 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and snowstorms can obscure visibility for days. Even modern expeditions struggle to reach this unforgiving location. Now, if the Antarctic Pole is cold and barren, the oceanic pole of inaccessibility is wet and desolate. Known as Point Nemo, this spot is the farthest point from any landmass. Location. Point Nemo is smack in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, roughly 2,688 kilometers or 1,450 nautical miles from the nearest land. What's there? Absolutely nothing but water. In fact, Point Nemo is so isolated that the closest humans are often astronauts aboard the International Space Station, orbiting roughly 408 kilometers or 254 miles above Earth. Why does it matter? Point Nemo plays a unique role in human history and science. It has been used as a spacecraft cemetery, where decommissioned satellites and space stations are intentionally crashed into the ocean in order to avoid damaging populated areas. Fun fact. The area surrounding Point Nemo inspired H.P. Lovecraft's famous Cthulhu mythos. The fictional underwater city of Lie, 
home of the cosmic horror Cthulhu is supposedly located near Point Nemo. North America. The North American Pole lies in South Dakota near the Pine Ridge Reservation. While remote, it is much easier to reach than its Antarctic counterpart. South America. South America's pole is found in Brazil, deep in the Amazon rainforest. Its isolation comes not from distance, but from the impenetrable jungle terrain. Africa. Africa's pole of inaccessibility is near the border of the Central African Republic. It is difficult to access due to dense forests, lack of roads, and political instability in the region. Now, you might be wondering, why should anyone care about these obscure points? Here's why they matter. Number one, scientific research. Poles of inaccessibility provide unique opportunities for studying untouched ecosystems, climate patterns, and even geological activity. Number two, extreme exploration. These points represent the ultimate challenge for adventurers. Reaching a pole of inaccessibility is like earning a badge of honor in the world of exploration. And number three, environmental awareness. Places like Point Nemo and the Antarctic Pole remind us of how interconnected the planet is. Trash and debris from human activity often end up in these remote areas, proving that no place is truly untouched by our influence. Reaching a pole of inaccessibility is no small feat. And here's why. Number one, harsh environments. Whether it's the freezing cold of Antarctica, the vast ocean surrounding Point Nemo, or the suffocating heat of a desert, these areas are designed to push humans to their limits. Number two, logistical nightmares. Getting to these locations requires advanced planning, specialized equipment, and often millions of dollars in funding. And number three, isolation. In many cases, rescue operations are nearly impossible, making these expeditions incredibly risky. So, why do we care about these remote, hard-to-reach places? Poles of inaccessibility aren't just points on a map. They are symbols of human curiosity and determination. They remind us that even in an age of satellites and GPS, there are still parts of our planet that remain wild, untamed, and incredibly hard to reach. Whether it's the bust of Lenin staring out at the Antarctic expanse, or the cosmic loneliness of Point Nemo, these poles challenge our understanding of geography, endurance, and the limits of exploration. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the hardest places to reach on Earth, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and also hit that bell icon for more adventures into the world's most fascinating locations. Where should we explore next? Let us know in the comments down below.